welcome to our Sweet Sense group chat. We post daily videos to help money stuff make sense. Yes, and today we're feeling lucky. Mm -hmm. Lucky. Yeah, oh, because yeah. we're talking about getting free stuff. Who doesn't deserve free stuff? Mm -hmm. Especially on your birthday. Mm -hmm. Yes, and I spent my birthday signing up for a bunch of free stuff and then collecting. Yeah. <gasps> Talk about a tough assignment. It was really hard. You were in the trenches. I really was. Tough. Watch this. <laughs> All right, it's my birthday, meaning I'm gonna go get some freebies, so why don't y'all come with? Obviously, breakfast is first, so I went to Denny's and built my own slam. Yo, I forgot how big these things are. Next, I went to Sephora for my free gift. Next up was coffee, so Starbucks. Then I was a little snacky, so I went to Tim Hortons for my free gift, which you get with the app, and they had no idea what I was talking about. Okay, off to Harvey's for a free apple pie. Not a bad birthday haul if I do say so myself. I love how unexcited you were with all of that free stuff. <laughs> okay, first of all, that was me excited. Also, that loop is fire. It That's was good. good Serious question. Yes. The most important of the day. Okay. Was the apple pie baked or deep fried? I don't remember, but it was delicious. Okay. Nice. Was really okay. Yeah, then I realized I was supposed to get a free burger, and so I was kind of sad. What? You were yeah. cheated. It wasn't as bad as the Tim's debacle, though, where I walked mm -hmm. in and told them about the birthday freebies, and they looked at me like I didn't know what I was talking about. Yeah. <laughs> no shame. Yeah. But this actually was a helpful video because so many commented suggestions of more birthday freebies we could get. Yeah, exactly. I feel like it's helpful to show this list. I didn't sign up for all of them, so I can't verify them, but they are there. You know, I know it's standard, but I kind of hate how you have to sign up for a newsletter or a rewards program to gain access. Yeah. Doing work, so annoying. It's even worse nice. when they actually force you to be active before you get the freebie. Oh yeah. Yes, the, what? Pre the period so before of using the app and whatever. So it can be a lot of work to get these freebies, but in the end you get gifts. Yeah. yeah. That Krispy Kreme freebie is looking pretty good to me. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Which one do you think was the best value? Was it the Grand Slam? Maybe? The Grand Slam was good for sure, and I was definitely full after. Yeah. It might be Sephora. Sephora, mm. right? Yeah, yeah actually, expensive. yes, because those products are expensive, mm. and I still use them. I still have the cleanser and some. There's a little bit of the mushroom. So <laughs> That's impressive. Still, Making one of it the last. Freebies. That's pretty good. <laughs> I think we can all agree we could all use more than one birthday a year. Yes. One a day. So, kind of related, I tried to win some PC Optimum points. Mm -hmm. Yes, you finally filled out one of those receipts earlier. Mm -hmm. Yes, I was curious, like, what are my chances of winning, and what do they do with my information when I enter? And we found out something very important. Yes. Read the contest rules. Who'd have thought? Hey, I, I didn't think about it. <laughs> Take a look. <laughs> I just picked up some stuff from shoppers, and I usually ignore the online survey on the receipt. To me, it just feels like a way for them to get my information and spam me. But not today. I'm in a curious state of mind. This one says I could win 1 million PC Optimum points or $1,000 in gift cards. Who wouldn't want that? And the contest is open to Canadian adults. Present. I feel this store values my business. Sure. Do you think the more feedback I give, the better chance I have? Thoroughly. Keeps getting close to the end, but then there's just more. Enjoying myself. After all that, what are my chances of actually winning? In their contest rules, it says this. The chances of being selected as a potential winner depends on the number of eligible entries received. So we're no closer to knowing my odds. However, also in the contest rules, it tells me the draw is happening on November 9th. Let me set a reminder so I can celebrate my big win. <laughs> oh wait, 24 prizes are available the whole year, which means only two per month. Sheesh, reading the contest rules is like a wealth of new information. I'm feeling less hopeful now. Can you not enter this month? Thanks. Apparently it's not a legal requirement to post the names of winners, but Shoppers has and does, which is kind of reassuring. Next up, Walmart. Do you enter these? Okay, so let's pick up from there. Mm. Do either of you enter these? No. no. I no. don't. It doesn't seem worth it. No, me either. But the comments were interesting because our most liked comment was a little mean. Smoke. Just a little mean. Savage. Rude. Although I I respect it. I mean, Honestly. I love you. It was low key. <laughs> it was low key. Yeah, you got me. Well, something cute also happened in the comments, but first, I'm curious what's the biggest thing either of you have ever won in life? Okay, well, one time my mom won a cruise and we got to go on a cruise for free. Excuse me? Yeah, she won playing bingo. A cruise? On the cruise, she won. Wait, she yeah, won a cruise no. on a cruise. She won a cruise on a cruise. Okay. Oh, that's, that's a serious win. Know, that's that's fire. Whoa. Um, I won a PlayStation once. Maybe cool. it was a PS2, what? I think. Oh I my think gosh, you guys, I never win anything. To be fair, that's the only thing I've ever won. Also, I didn't technically win. My mom won. That's true. Shout out to Okay, mom. well, back to the cute thing. I went mm. into the survey thinking about me only, but a couple of Shoppers employees shared comments like this. Oh, that is nice. So sweet. Yeah, that is nice. I love that. We can't really confirm if it's true, but it's pretty sweet if it is. Yeah. I would never think that filling out those surveys would kind of trickle down into employee recognition. Yeah. So, recognition is always nice. Yeah. Anisha, you did a really good job with this. Mm -hmm. It's a good piece. Thank you for that recognition. You're so welcome. Feeling so recognized. Recognize I'm it. I'm touched. 
We're still talking about free stuff, right? Yes. Well, lots of Canadian cities have free stuff Facebook pages, so I thought we should look at ours and see what we can find. I'm pick. so down. <laughs> I mean, sometimes it's it's kind of hard to score the thing, though. True. You know? Competition. Yeah. But it's good to look. Yes. Yeah. Hardcore competition. Christmas lights. Okay. But some don't work. You don't know which ones. How it's a guessing many? game. Good. Maybe, if, I mean, a glass half empty. Gl exactly. Glass half full, full. maybe. That's glass half full. It depends on how you look at it. Free stuff is all around us, guys. <laughs> yeah, sometimes you just gotta work to get it. Mm -hmm. You know what you don't have to work hard for, though? What? Following us on social media. Ah! That Sorry. is true, yeah. <laughs> well, thank you for coming to the group chat. We will see you next time. Bye. Bye. Later. <laughs>